Why birds don't get electrocuted sitting on power lines? What is the science behind that? Is the bird having superpower? No, that's not the answer. To know this, first let's understand the necessary conditions for the current to flow. Completance of the circuit. Current is nothing but flow of electrons. The circuit should be closed in order to flow the electrons. If the circuit is open then there is no path for the electrons to flow. That's why circuits should be closed. Potential difference. It is the another factor deciding the direction of flow of current. Current always flows from a higher potential to a lower potential. So we need the potential difference for current to flow. Path of least resistance. Current will always flow in a path that offers least resistance. For example aluminium or copper offers least resistance, so the current can flow through it. But the current can't flow through the materials such as plastic or dry wood, as it offers high resistance. Now let's consider the bird sitting on live wire and not touching any other wire. First of all, the circuit is incomplete as the bird is not in contact with any other wire. It has no potential difference as both of the legs of bird are touching the same wire. Resistance offered by the bird is also too much compared to that offered by the wire. Hence almost negligible amount of current flows through the bird, that doesn't harm the bird. They do get electric shock in the nanovolt range so they don't feel anything. If the bird would touch the ground while sitting on the wire, or if the bird would touch another electric wire with different voltage, then it would get shocked and likely die by shock. This is because its body would become a path for the electricity to reach either the ground or to a place with different voltage. You may have seen bats are dying more due to electric shocks. This is because bats have large wings. When they are hanging quietly they will not get shocked. But when they stretch their large wings, those wings touch another power line with different voltage thus completing the circuit. So they get shocked and dies. 10 Electrical Safety Reminders to Keep You and Your Family Safe from Electrical Accidents Never touch anything electrical with wet hands or while standing in water. Always wear rubber shoes in wet areas. Cover unused outlets. Keep metal objects such as silverware away from outlets. If you get a shock when touching a sink, tub, or other wet area, turn off the power at the main panel and immediately call an electrician. Don't run cords under rugs or furniture. Also keep them away from pets that like to chew. Don't overload sockets. Use a power board with a safety switch and only use one per wall outlet. When unplugging, don't yank. Pull by the plug, not the cord. Never touch a down power line or climb a utility pole.